funny and I'm pretty sure this is my first video of 2023. Wait, oh my god you guys, it's 2024. What year is it? Okay, sippy sippy while I figure out what year it is. Today I'm doing a super old school style video because I was blessed with the Twilight Colourpop collection. I actually tried to purchase this twice myself. I tried to buy it like when it first dropped on Colourpop and then when it dropped on Ulta and I was not able to buy anything. Granted like the product that I was like most most excited about is the Vampire Soul Body oil and little did I know until the collection dropped on Ulta that this is actually a Colourpop exclusive. So yes you guys also I'm sweating. I like tried to do like a green makeup look today which I felt like was a little bit out of the norm for me. I don't know when I last did green eyeshadow if I've ever done green eyeshadow. I'm sure I have but it's definitely out of the norm for me. You guys normally know I like to go with the taupey, grungy kind of stuff. So I feel like green is a big portion of this palette. So I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So I'm gonna go through and just like, let's look at the whole collection. I used everything today except for one of the highlighters. We'll get into that why in a minute. Y'all are gonna have to fill me in. I feel like this palette or this whole collection was selling out like lightning fast but when it first dropped and they were kind of like doing some of the reveals I felt like I was seeing a lot of negativity in the comments and I honestly I don't know why you guys if y'all are huge like Twilight fans I don't know why people seem to not like the color story of this palette and I just have to say I love it like for me it really does fit the aesthetic of Twilight just in terms of like when you watch the movie like I feel like these are kind of like the shades these don't get mad at me for this I feel like honestly I was like more excited for the shades in this palette for the color story why do I keep saying that phrase I've never said that before today in my life I feel like I was like more excited like for the products themselves even if it was not like a Twilight thing. But I feel like anytime a brand does like a collection with something, I'm always like just a little bit more curious. Let me know. Cause I didn't read that many comments, like just the first top five or something. So yeah, so far my only complaint about this collection is I wish they would have done Jelly Much shadows to go with it. You guys, if y'all never ever buy another ColourPop, I Item ever except for like BFF2 the lippy pencil that's like another absolute staple of my life the jelly much shadows like I literally feel like I cannot do a makeup look without one of them they are amazing I feel like they make everything pop so I am wearing one today in the shade scandal and I put it on my little palette here so you guys can see what it looks like it's also on my eyes so yeah I felt like this was like the green shade that I have of this. Let's start off with the product that I was most excited about. Now I feel like this was also kind of a TikTok trend like maybe two years ago now where people were doing like the vampire skin. Isn't that literally what this is called? No, like diamonds. There is a product called vampire skin. But yeah, like diamonds. Did y'all see that? Where everybody was like trying to get like the Cullen vampire sparkle. I do have this on today. I'm mixed it in with actually some of the soul face and body makeup and I was then feeling very moist so I did set it with, you guys, I don't even know, I don't think things like this can technically expire, but I love this too. See, I wish they would have like made some of these as well, like the little poof and it's very shimmery. So yes, I do. I have that on today. Can you tell? I don't know. I could tell when I put it on, but like, is that, I feel like that's kind of something more for like IRL. Like you could probably see, you know, if we were like hanging out together. I surprisingly love these. They're the Luxe Lip Oils. There are three shades. I surprisingly love all three. Now I do have to say I've started to dabble in lip gloss land.
friend, which if we have been Swamp Family friends for a very long time, you know that I personally think lip gloss is the devil's plaything. I don't really normally like anything about it. However, I have started to embrace it when I'm like taking makeup photos, when I'm like filming videos, if I want like, you know, something that looks a little bit more glossy. I will put it on for a limited time engagement. However, I am a wild and wacky weirdo. So I just feel like in normal course of life, like when I'm not like filming a video, taking a picture, can't wear anything with a lip gloss texture because I am drinking, I am snacking, I am smooching. I have the windows down in the car, my hair like whipping into my mouth. But I do, I love it like on. I love the look of it. I hope you guys wanted a 30 minute explanation <laughs> for everything and all my personal thoughts today. Look at the packaging, you guys. I feel like this is personally quite cute. Definitely trees is like what I think of. So I have swatched each lip oil for you guys to see today. The one that I have on right now is Team Edward, which like it's the more blue shade. Can you guys see? It's like navy. I feel like uh, Team Jacob is like a black glitter shade. But I don't know, Team Edward, I thought just went a little bit better with like the green. But you guys, I honestly love the uh, Team Jacob one as well because it reminds me of a long discontinued Urban Decay product, which was a gloss. It was a black lip gloss, but it was sheer. I feel like they had two products like this that I loved both of them, but they were like sheer black lippies. I think one was like a lipstick, but it went on like very sheer. The other one was like a lip gloss. I feel like they had like little men in the caps, unless this is like some kind of fever dream I'm having. And then Bells, I also like this as well. I've seen a lot of people like layer these products over a lip liner or something, but I really love the look of all three of them by themselves because it's like very sheer. Like you get the natural shade of your lips, but you just have like another like a lip topper. I am extremely excited for both of the Super Shock highlighters as well. The Vampire Skin one in particular was another product I was really hoping to be able to purchase. So that is this one. Now, when I ended up doing my makeup today, I feel like it ended up being a little bit more golden than probably what I had intended. So I feel like both of these shades are like very light, very silvery. And so I just didn't really feel like either of them were a perfect match for how my look ended up looking today. I tried to do like a more concentrated swatch just so y'all could really see the color payoff. And then I tried to add a little bit up here where I like diffused it to kind of like give you like a more probably realistic look of you know, the highlighter, but oh my God, y'all know I love to add like a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlighter, like right to the tip of my nose. I am really just out here trying to guide Santa sleigh. So I would, you know, probably like tip of my nose, like leave it a little bit more shiny, diffuse it out a bit more on the cheeks, but look at that you guys i'm so excited the other one is called meadow and i really love this one as well this is almost like a secret red highlighter and i am living for it honestly maybe a little bit more pink than red but it truly does look like it has some red sparkle i feel like this would be so gorgeous to layer over blush especially if you love doing like a real like pink red kind of eyeshadow look like I'm kind of thinking for like a whole look for like Valentine's Day but when you diffuse this one it is honestly like such a soft like glowy pink I really love it I feel like I will use both of these highlighters a lot just not today the next thing is three products that I'm wearing two out of the three today and you guys I tried to wear more natural eyelashes today because I feel like I always wear huge 
eyelashes, but sometimes to the point that you kind of cannot tell like any of the makeup that I'm wearing. So like literally what? So we have three of the, what is this product? Graphics Ink Liner. Now this is a product I use quite frequently from ColourPop as well. The shades Vampire, Forever, and Coven. Now Vampire is a red shade. I did swatch all three of these on my cheeks the other day as well. Today I am wearing Forever and Coven. So I did Forever on the inner corner of my eye because it's more of an evergreen green kind of shade. That is the only change, you guys. If ColourPop like asked me, hey, what do you think about life? That's the only thing that I would want to change is this packaging. Now I love the little like Twilight packaging, but sometimes I do wish they made like some portion of this product, like the shade that it is. Do you know what I mean? Like there's another one I use all the time and where did I put it? I threw it to the moon today because I knew I was not going to be using it. Anyway, the packaging like never has the shade on it. So I feel like I always like forget which shade is what. Now to me, sometimes these are almost like toppers. Like I feel like Coven, you could almost like put on a gray or a black eyeliner and then put this kind of green shimmer over it. I did end up like kind of layering it on. Like I would apply one coat, let it dry, and then put another coat on it just because I was like trying to really like just use these products today. So you guys are gonna have to let me know. Like, can you tell that I'm wearing two different eyeliners? <laughs> did I go too far? Is it like I'm layering over too many other products? So you kind of can't tell. I don't know. But yeah, one's red, one's green, and one's kind of like a grayish charcoal, I would say. Not like true black. Last but not least, we have the palette. And this was like the outer shell packaging. And this is the actual palette. I have not used every shade, obviously. Today I used, say it out loud, 17, impossibly fast, and maybe unconditionally. I don't remember. I did do my makeup a couple hours ago now. So yeah, this is the palette. Now I kind of feel like these shades are in like three groups. You really have your kind of like taupey, kind of supernatural shades. Then you have things Things that lean towards blues and things that lean towards greens. Time to swatch the palette. You can't see my swatches. Swatches! When I sat down, did my makeup, filmed this whole video, I had not swatched all of the shades in this palette yet. I was kind of just like window shopping, if you will. But now, oh my god, you guys, now that I've swatched all the shades, I am literally so much more excited for this palette. Probably like I've already said, in this video. For the past several years, I feel like I've just gone very, very neutral with my eyeshadows. But like just having this and swatching it all kind of just makes me imagine lots of different looks that I'd like to do. That I feel, you know, I feel like that's kind of what I've ended up doing is all my makeup, I've kind of always made like lip focused. And normally my go to is just the bright red lip. So I feel like that's kind of like limiting me usually from doing like green eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow, whatever. But now this kind of makes me want to think eyeshadow first and then like lip last. I don't know, you guys. I swatched them one by one so that hopefully you guys can get a good look at each of the shadows by themselves. And oh my gosh, I'm like so shocked because several of the shades in this palette that are the more like metallic-y are so creamy, so metallic that they really remind me of the super shock shadows. So let's just go through row by row, shade by shade. And yeah, up first is Edward. And this one is a super blinding silver, uh, super sparkly shadow. To me, this has like rainbow sparkle in it because kind of as you're like moving your hand or your eye around, you see a lot of different colors reflecting 
it's gorgeous. Up next is the shade Unconditionally. And at first when I was like looking at the palette, I thought it was just like a gray shade, but it actually has quite a bit of blue in it. I don't know what a blue gray, like I'm trying to think like my crayon colors, blue gray. I don't think that's like cornflower blue, but maybe it is. I don't know. Can we pop a cornflower crayon in here? Um, but it is like blue gray. Um, what I said the other day, I still feel like is true. You can go like a really blue uh, look with this palette, a really green look, or you could just do a totally neutral look. But I feel like they were kind of building mostly upon blue and green and then giving you like a huge range of shadows to do like a complete look. So you would have like a base. Um, Y'all, I can't even think of what the, the blendy shade is called. Y'all, I know there's a technical name for that. It's not blendy shade. Anyway, uh, shadow number three, Prom Night. Now this, like in my little swatch down here, it looks uh, very metallic and almost like champagne. The next shade is Immortal. And I really, really love this one. It is kind of that silvery blue shade, very sparkly, very metallic. Next and last shade on row number one, Ice Cold. So um, here amongst my swatches, um, this looks kind of mostly like a cross between silver and champagne. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let me know because I swear this shadow when I swatched it on my hand, it almost had like just a little bit of tinge of green champagne. Doesn't that sound delicious in it? Do you guys see the green? Let me know. Is that just me? Is that just my eyeballs? I don't know. All right, moving on. Row number two. The very first say shade is Say It Out Loud. And this is one that I used in my look the other day. This is definitely like a shade that I gravitate towards. It's like a nice, rich, taupey. I almost describe this as doe shade, like a little deer. Um, love it. Definitely I would use this. I mean, this is just very easy for me. I don't even really have to like think about it or get imaginative. I feel like this is just a good staple transition shade. That's the word I was thinking of. Yes. Um, I love it. You know, um, uh, all right. Up next, this is the swatch that I was like, oh my God, I kind of do really want to do like a blue eyeshadow look now. This is called the Cullens and it is just a gorgeous metallic blue. I feel like it has just a little bit, like you're just kind of wandering into the territory, territory of Navy, but you don't go all the way there. Um, cause you know, I feel like just normally like in my life, not makeup, but just like, if I'm going to pick a blue of anything, I always pick Royal blue, but I like this cause this is a little bit more imaginative. You know, it's like an, it's like a Navy blue. It's something I would not normally pick up. Um, all right, you guys up next, the, um, lion and lamb shade. And I don't think I actually ended up using this the other day. Cause I ended up using scandal. I used a jelly much shadow instead, probably should have just used this one because it's honestly gorgeous like just a beautiful tree evergreen metallic green shade I can't get too flowery or imaginative with this one um it's just it's just pretty it's just there um up next 17 I definitely used this shade the other day and I would say this is like the perfect matte counterpart to Lion and Lamb. This is just like the matte version of that shadow. Once again, very forest, very tree, very evergreen. <laughs> Love it. All right, uh, last shadow on row number two, Moonlit. And this is kind of an interesting, once again, I really, I really like this one. I almost feel like I could have used this as an inner corner highlight to my look the other day, uh, but it's like a taupey yet metallic, but it's not too metallic. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like dancing in between. No, I mean, it's clearly metallic, but do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's not like as blindingly metallic as the other ones, you know? All right. Row number three. I thought I was holding up four fingers. Row number three. Impossibly fast. I used this as my uh, crease shade the other day. It is the deepest green in the palette. And like swatching it, I'm sure you guys can see it's like almost such a dark green that it almost gives you like a little bit of a essence of a charcoal in there. Uh, 
but it is still green. Up next is Bella. Once again, I feel like this would just be a very simple shade for me to use. It's just a very nice, rich, uh, deep brown. It's very, very gorgeous, very nice matte. Um, so yeah, I feel like I would use this one a lot if I was wearing red lipstick, for instance. All right, uh, shadow number three, Irresistible. Once again, I feel like this is something I really, I would love to use this one because it is like a, um, you know what? It's like the metallic version of Unconditionally. It's kind of like a very sparkly, metallic is a better word to use. Uh, it's like a very metallic cornflower blue. Uh, all right, second to last, irrevocably. Irrevocably. Um, can we get a pronunciation for that? Irrevocably. Um, yes, I feel like once again, that's like a very good uh, counterpart to Irresistible because it's like the matte version of that shade. Like I feel like, you know, you could use Irresistible like as a pop in the center of your lid and then cut the crease with Irrevocably. Uh, all right, you guys, last and certainly not least, oh my God, Forever Young. Y'all, I really want to do like indie sleaze makeup look with this because, oh my God. Um, I feel like there was a time in my life where all I did was use cool, like really thick black eyeliner. Like, oh my God, you guys. Do y'all remember, I wish they would bring this back, like total side note, but do y'all remember the lava liner? I swear it was Too Faced. It was just like a thick, black eyeliner. You could really just go to town, rub your eyes, look like you'd been partying all night. This would be a good shade for a look like that. Forever Young. It is gorgeous. It is sparkly. But the interesting thing is, like, I've had this swatch on for quite a while. I swatched everything on my arms first, y'all. Why? Why do I swatch in this exact zone every time? But um, as you're living, blinking, perhaps, some of the shimmer starts to kind of, like, diffuse which, oh my God, I love that. You guys know I'm like back on a makeup journey. I wanna start like getting excited about makeup again. I wanna start doing makeup again. I wanna start like exploring makeup collections again. And I was honestly like just so happy to get this. I was like genuinely excited about this. I feel like this is a palette that I will continue to reach for. I kind of want to do a blue eyeshadow look. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I feel like nowadays I don't ever wear blue eyeshadow just because I feel like it would maybe be super weird with like blue eyes and blue eyeshadow. But for whatever reason, like all through high school, that was like my go-to. Like I thought I could use no other shade. Like I would get super white shimmery eyeshadow shades and then blue, nothing in between. So I kind of want to do like a, throwback look for myself and do a blue eyeshadow look. I feel like this would be the perfect palette to experiment with that. So yeah, I feel like you guys know me. If I'm not excited about something or if I just like don't like something, like I don't make a video about it. So blendable, just like every ColourPop shade. You guys, I feel like I have been like just gravitating more and more towards ColourPop the past couple of years just because they do have so many shades. Like truly, if you can imagine it, they have an eyeliner for it. They have a lip liner for it. They've got an eyeshadow for it. And I just always find them like super easy to work with, especially like somebody like me who I feel like I'm kind of like rusty with makeup. So I need things that are like easy to blend, easy to use. And yeah, I really, I really love everything about this. They still sell like the Sailor Moon collection, which I know that that was like another thing that sold out like lightning fast. And I think that came out like two or three years ago now. So I feel like, especially with like the response and how much it has sold out, I feel like this is probably something that they will continue to restock and then keep in stock for hopefully like as long until everybody can get it, who wants it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about my look today. Oh, which I guess I should say this video is not sponsored, but this is PR. I feel like I did start out by saying this is PR but ColourPop did send me these products, but this is just all my thoughts coming out of my little head. And uh, yeah, not sponsored. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family and give an alligator twangs. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. 